life and in death, Ernest and Patricia Schroer supported Dignity Health's Northridge Hospital Medical Center financially. It started when Ernest was treated at the hospital for cancer before his death in 2003, when Patricia died last spring, set in motion the plan for the hospital to receive the unrestricted $2 million windfall from property the elderly couple owned, passed down and put into trust for the medical center. The couple's journey started after Ernest stayed at the hospital a few miles away from his home, where he was treated for cancer. He read an article about another patient whose family donated a half million dollars to the medical center in the form of a trust fund started by his sons when he died. Ernie saw this article we wrote on this other donor and called me and said hey, what are they doing? Said Brian Hamill, president of the Northridge Hospital Foundation fundraising arm and connection to the community. So, I told him and he said I want to do something like that, but in a different way. That started the relationship. I met with him at his kitchen table, in Northridge, and he told me what he wanted and he said, I don't want to run an event, or a golf tournament or dinner, but I do have a piece of property. Since then, the property increased in value, gave the Schroer family an income stream and was finally turned over to the hospital when Patricia died. Schroer was a successful real estate developer. His son, Ernest Schroer III has followed in his footsteps. I am gratified that, my parents, gave that money to Northridge Hospital and personally it was very exciting for me to actually write the check and sign it on behalf of my family. Schroer, 69, said from his Westlake Village office. My dad was very generous to charities, it's just in the family and I'm happy to help out the community, because I think Northridge Hospital's trauma center serves a great need for the Central Valley. Schroer said his parents wanted the windfall to be unrestricted because his dad didn't feel that was his area of competency. He gave the money and let them decide how best to use it, he added. Since 1955, Northridge Hospital Medical Center, a 394-bed, Acute Care, non-profit community hospital, has received financial support from the community.